Hi, Ashley. How are Hi. you? Hi. Hi, I'm doing well. How about you? I'm good. So first off, this documentary depicts racial tensions that very much still mirror from 1970 to today. Can you talk a little bit about the discourse of that from the MOVE group and how the similarities are still very clear to this day? Well, the similarities are, you know, every generation we have a different organization coming up to protest against the system in a large way. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, for every generation we get multiple organizations or people that are, that are putting out information to try to help with the situation. You have the, you've had the Black Panthers, you've had Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, um, and, and so many others, right? So um, that the organization known as MOVE is just a continuation of the people before us and a connection to the people that are coming after us, Black Lives Matter and a lot of other groups. Um, not much has changed. So Tommy, what was it specifically about that day in 1978 that made you want to work with Mike and produce this documentary? And was this a long process? And how did this all sort of come together between the two of you? It was a three and a half year process. And it wasn't as much about the day as it was about Mike and his journey, his emotional journey and his actual journey mm -hmm. to get his parents out. And in order to understand why his parents needed to get out, I had to understand why they were in. And then in understanding exactly. why they were in, I had to figure out all of the constituent parts of what was happening in Philly in the 70s with MOVE, with Rizzo, with police brutality. And that just led me down the path of a giant amount of research to try to unpack what was going on because there was no definitive account of what happened in 1978. And it's also something that was a giant event, but people barely even remember it today. And so mm -hmm. I just set me on this path of discovery. And lastly, what do you hope this documentary captivates and brings forth for the audiences watching it? I hope people recognize that this was something that happened to my family, but a lot of other families are going through the same type of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically, um, Mumia Abu-Jamal, uh, who, who was a journalist at the time and is a journalist today, he was um, uh, speaking out and doing exactly what Tommy did in terms of just reporting what actually happened. And as a result of that, he uh, he was a target and he's been in prison himself for nearly 40 years. So, you know, we, I just want this film to, to wake people up and the people that are already awakened. I want those people to be energized by it and move forward so that we can get some justice and make some changes in this country. Great. Well, I think that's all the time that you guys have for me today. So thank you so much for speaking with me. This was an incredibly moving documentary. And I just love the messages behind it. And I hope that it gathers the attention that it deserves. And just congratulations to the both of you on creating this Thank and you. trying to bring positive change.